Hi everyone, so we are going to look at the Wi-Fi controller, receiver and controller or thermostat for the Mitsubishi Ikidan. So I'm just going to run through quickly how you can set this up, what dip switches to switch on or off and, um, and just basically show you the process to how to pair these systems up and make sure that they're working correctly with the system. So first of all, putting the receiver in, we get this uh, little block here that goes directly into a connector on the PCB which is under C N R F. And what I generally do is get this wire, feed it through the loops here and then I'll hang the receiver up on the wall ready to go. Now there's also a couple of dip switches that we need to be aware of. Now for me what we tend to do um, is on the ground floor for this property for instance we've got underfloor heating and we've also got a radiator circuit upstairs and this is where we're going to use the Mitsubishi thermostat for the room circuit upstairs but what I tend to do is actually just have that as the first zone on this system so um, what we have factory settings basically of dip switches so all the reds are the ones that are usually on um, so there's a couple that we need to take care of uh, one being that we want to create two zones the other being that we are attaching the Mitsubishi receiver and the other is that because we're using their receiver uh, we need to set one of the default dip switches across in order to accommodate so on the back of the FTC cover there are a list of the dip switches and their operation so we want two zones so if we look here in SW3, two zone on. So it always comes in the off position, which means it's inactive. We want to activate that. We've got SW8, which is the wireless remote controller or without, comes default as off, without the remote. So it's saying that it's the wireless controller, the Mitsubishi one, not a third party control. We want to switch that over to on. And also, because we're going to do it as zone two, this will already be in the on position, ready for a third party thermostat. We want to switch it off for the Mitsubishi controller. And you want all of the system off and do this. So we switch that over. So we've taken that to the on position. We switch this one, which is SW2 number one off. And then we've got SW6. SW3, sorry, number six, on. Right, and you want that powered down when that happens, and then when you power it back up, it makes sure that all the dip switches coincide with what we want to do. Um, also, just to add, we've got a second zone, um, and what we will do is for it to be in zone two, we're gonna put the, and these have to be volt-free, by the way, so you need to make sure it's a volt-free connection, and Zone two goes in in six. If you did have a third party thermostat, then that would go into in one for zone one. And they must be volt free. Now you may wonder why, because I said earlier that we put the controller on zone one, even though it's say upstairs for instance, and some people might think, well, you put your downstairs as zone one and your upstairs as zone two. But the reason why we've done this is that the underfloor heating is on the ground floor, but it's got its own circulating pump. And instead of having to put an additional central heating pump on or circulating pump on to feed the underfloor heating, which already has one, so it ends up having two. If the, if the, if, if the distance is within reason and we know that the, the circulating pump for the uh, underfloor heating system is big enough to deal with the, um, to get the right flow rates going through the underfloor heating system, then we'll use this because this pump here on the, um, pre-plumb cylinder, the Mitsi pre-plumb cylinder, acts as one of your zones. So then we'll use that pump there, so we don't have to put an additional pump on, and that will circulate the radiator system upstairs. I've got another pump here, this is the primary circulating pump, so that's basically uh, circulating the flow and the return primaries from the heat pump itself. And you've also got a third one. Now this is for the domestic hot water system, and that will Essentially, you've got water in the cylinder. So instead of having a big coil inside, it's pulling the water through here and 
circulating that on the outside through this plate heat exchanger which is covered here um, and that just increases the capacity inside it's a very efficient way of heating the hot water as well okay so now we need to pair this receiver to this controller what we need to do is hold this button down so just push it down for about three seconds we should get an orange flashing light there we go so we want just that orange flashing light going now it's all fingers and thumbs on this bit so we need to hold simultaneously up down and the tap button so i'm going to try and do this with one hand now we get this flashing zero i'm going to bring that to one press the tap button again this one represents how the zone, so we're going to have this as zone one. There's only one zone here to do so with, and we'll press that again. Okay, immediately it is paired to the receiver, and then we'll be able to operate this once that is uh, all synced in, and then we can start using this thermostat to control heat for the first zone. And once this receiver synced, you should get this solid green light this will say off and when you first power this up it does take a little bit of time and um, the advantage of using the wireless controller with the uh, cylinder as well or with the Mitsubishi heat pump is that you get a wireless interface a Wi-Fi interface which enables you to download the MailCloud app and when you've got the MailCloud app working um, it means that you can actually control your heating system which essentially via your app you're controlling this thermostat um, so you've got a bit of control outside of, of actually being at home or actually touching this controller itself so you could put this somewhere if it's upstairs on the wall or whatever um, you don't necessarily have to keep going to that component in order to turn it on and off because you can utilize the mail cloud app and that's basically how you set up and link in your wireless thermostat